Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use CocoDot, which is the easiest way to edit a PDF online. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on Edit PDF Online and then click on Choose File. From there, we will select our sponsored PDF file on our desktop. Now as you can see, the PDF is displayed on the window and it gives you a lot of options that you can choose. The first one we're going to use is text. Simply click and then put the cursor to wherever you want your text to go and then type in whatever text you want. We can also resize the text box, change the font size if necessary or even make it bold. The next thing we'll look at is adding a signature to it. So I'm just gonna type in my name and press save. And we're just gonna put it over here. We will just zoom out. The next thing we're gonna look at is setting a date and we're gonna put it on the top right as you can see. If you accidentally did a duplicate, you can always just press the trash icon on the right. Or we can make it bigger or smaller. Now we're gonna click on the cross and we're gonna put a cross over here we can press OK. Then we're going to add a check mark right next to it. And we'll also press OK. We have the ability to add an image, but I'm not going to do it for this video. But I will, however, add a text box. And we'll put it over here. This is a text box in a PDF file. So that's how you do a text box. And just like a regular text, we can modify the boldness, color, font size, and more. Now we're going to use the erase tool. So the way this one works is you simply click on the area you want to erase and just drag through and just like that I've erased this text. We can also highlight which I'm going to highlight the two words easy decorating. And we can also use blackout which allows you to redact any text that you do not want. So last but not least, I'm going to save the file and it will ask you to put in your email and password. So now that it's saved, we can open it up again and we're going to download it to our computer. So as you can see, we're just going to open the file. And there you have it. This is the edited PDF file. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.